Hey guys, D Mike here. Hope you're ready for another episode of Link's Awakening. We're gonna have some fun today. This is another jam packed episode with a whole bunch of things to do. And we're gonna get right to it. So, first, after you beat the Angler Tunnel, you can come here into this fishy shaped room and hang out with this sunfish here. Who's this? Uh, we do have an ocarina. And we can learn his song. Ready for a banger, guys. This is adorable. Uh, Link kicking his little feet around is adorable. There's no way around it. Pretty great. The updated cover of that for this game is great. Okay. So. This was something that would have been really useful to have prior to the angler tunnel, but you can't get it because you can't swim. So that is no dice. Let's go ahead and just pop in here real quick so I can show you what this does. Pretty cool. Oh, avoid the warp point. This is just for demo, de demo, demo purposes. So if enemies could uh, GTFO, thanks. So pop in here to your sub menu. Switch on over to Mambo's Mambo. And this will warp you to the entrance of any dungeon. It's pretty nice. This is kind of the equivalent to doing a save and quit. That is one item down. That is pretty cool. Also, overworld link swimming with the flippers. Additionally adorable. That is a universal and objective opinion, so go ahead and set that one in stone. We love it. You come in here in this cave when you're done, you can do a little bit of a deep dive here with a B button. Pick up a piece of hurt. So we're doing pretty good on hearts right now. We have nine, I believe. My math is correct. I think, according to my knowledge of having played this game on another file, I think that you can get I want to say, I think there's 32 pieces of heart in this game, which is more than the original, so that's pretty great. Definitely pretty useful. So we're going to play that warp tune again. Mambo's Mambo. And this lets you warp to any place on the island, which is really nice. So you don't have to necessarily worry about the warp points specifically. You can go wherever you want, where, whenever you want. So we're actually going to go to Animal Village. There's a couple of things that we need to do here. Now, if you remember, when we were helping out Papao and giving him our delicious pineapple treat, oh, this guy. I'm not sure if we'll cover this in this episode, but I might have to just for the sake of not wanting to deal with this. So if you remember, when we were doing part of the trading quest and we talked to Papao, up on the mountain gave him the pineapple that he munched away, as anybody should, he gave us a hibiscus in return. Now, there was somebody in the animal village that maybe would appreciate a beautiful flower. I don't remember which house it is, so we're gonna do some trial and error here. So we find it, not that one. So clearly I did my practicing prior to this episode was very worthwhile because I don't remember which house it is. Ah, second time's a charm. We'll talk to this cute little goat here. Christine, she wants our hibiscus. Of course, we are a gentleman after all. A Mr. Right. Huh. So we're given a love letter. So that creates a little bit of a weird premise. Giving a little bit of credence to furries, I don't know. Mr. Right is definitely a human, so the implications of that are a little weird. 
but to each their own, I suppose. So, having done that, we can head back this way. And if you remember, there is another piece of heart down here that is buried that we were unable, excuse you, that we were unable to get before. So we're gonna dip down there and grab it. We're just getting loaded up on these pieces of heart today. That's nice, that's two so far. We might wind up actually, I'm gonna check my sub screen one more time. Yeah, we're actually gonna, I think we're gonna wind up with a, another heart container. That's pretty good. Okay, so. Now that that's all pretty much done, our next experience that we're going to be working on is spending some time in Mabe Village. So you can go there however you want to. Uh, Monbo's Pond is the one that is north of where the witch is. I want to say her name is Syrup, but I don't know. So instead, we'll take the ooh, ooh, ooh. warp. Pretty fast way to get there. Just outside city limits with this spooky specter following after us. Don't worry, buddy. We'll take care of you. Don't don't you fret. So, one of the things that we want to do is put away that Goomba that we got through the Trendy game. That actually belongs here in Marin and Terrence House. So you can go ahead and toss the Goomba up. Let's check it. Yes, Goombas have very beautiful eyebrows. Some eyebrow bleeding going on, in fact. We're going to want to pop into the town shop, shoppy. If we recall, there was a piece of heart here. And we've got enough funding for that. So we'll go ahead and contribute to the local economy. And get our 10th hard container. Uh, there's no other items in the shop that we're interested in right now. Uh, definitely not any in the middle of that row of things that maybe we'll think about coming back to later. Absolutely not. So I'm going to pass on that for now. But every time that you complete a certain amount of dungeons, I want to say it's after every two, I could be wrong probably am wrong, as I usually am, you have the opportunity to get more things from the trendy game, which is fun. So the one thing that we see here that we're going to want is that cute little turtley bugger right there, if you see him. So once again, moving forward with X, moving right with A. That might be too far up. We'll find out. That actually looks pretty good. There's also that stone tablet in the back. Yeah, I don't think I got it. Eh, come on, please. Oh, wow, look at that. The look of the Irish. I don't even know if I am Irish, but if I am, paid off. So, hooray for random ethnicities. All right, and great. So, I also wanted to do uh, another one of those shout outs in this video. If you guys are enjoying what you're seeing, if you could go ahead and make sure to like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Would love to see that. And how about some comments? Comments are good. How about a question for the day? This is random, but earlier today I had a Kit Kat. Left it in my fridge for a little bit, got it nice and chilly, and it was delicious. So, what are some of your guys' favorite candies? Kit Kats are very good. Love a nice Twix, maybe a Milky Way. So, chocolate candy. Not a huge candy and sweet eater, but sometimes is okay. So let's see what maybe the telephone thinks we should do next. We are, ooh. Where he wants to go? Well, I don't know. I'm not sure where he wants to go. Unfortunately, we're gonna delay his, his journey. It's kind of rude, but I mean, whatever. He can follow around. It's always fun having a little buddy, right? Kind of makes me think of the, I don't even know what his name is off the top of my head, but I played Animal Crossing, the new one, for a bit. And one of the, one of the complaints I had was that the early part of the game, there wasn't really a whole lot to do. The 
the special visitors were few and far between, and so you would just wind up doing the same things over and over again. And one of my least favorites was having to deal with the ghost. Oh, okay. So apparently there's a house at the bay that this dude wants us to take him to. And I actually, I'm not hesitating to do that. This is not an intentional whiff on trying to get him there, but this is me just trying to make up for some collectibles that I have wanted to take care of. So you can get a secret seashell from that rock down there. And then if you come this way, Void Spearman, Spearman. There is a certain fishy area right here that looks like it might be diggable. How about it? Oh, that would help if I hit the right button. Pick up another secret seashell. Let's see how many we have. That makes six. So, all right, that's super creepy. Pick up that rock. Walk down these stairs. This is not part of the planned excursion, so we'll actually, we'll come back to this. Just remember that that's there. That's per actually, you know, no, you know what? No, we're going to do this right here, right now. On the spot, you're going to need some magic powder for these crazy voodoo statues. Throw that on and see who we just summoned. Speaking of naps, I love naps. So you don't have to say yes to that. You can say no. Getting more magic powder is kind of like the third of the things that you'll want to do. It's not super useful. But right now we do have access to bombs and more of them would be wonderful. So he thinks he's doing us a disservice, but now look at this. 60 bombs, that's great. Now. There are three of these little devil encounters on the overworld. One of them will net you more secret powder, as you saw, and an unrequested piece of power. So you can get magic powder in one, you can get bombs in the other, and then the third is a secret. We'll come back to that. I don't want to spoil it. So if you remember, we had a request from Christine, the goat, to bring a love letter to Mr. Wright. So if those of you who have played this game, you'll recognize him immediately. I'll explain after. His title screen music. Very catchy. And he is very excited. And his green toss back hair. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is, that is a problem. So, that photo, yeah, exactly. So, for, the, for those paying attention, we got that photo from Christine. And Christine is not Princess Peach. So, this is more, I guess, kind of a, I mean, this has probably been happening for a long time, but... I don't know if it's always, if it's had a name attached to it for as long as I'm thinking, but Christine just, uh, she just catfished that guy. So that's pretty uncool. Don't do that, folks. Be true to yourself. I know a lot of people nowadays are, they might struggle with embracing how they look or who they are, but I'm telling you now, the best person you can be is yourself. Just like this ghost. So I actually might wrap up things with that. Now, the trade quest is actually something that we can do pretty quickly and take care of some progress. The broom actually is this lady's. Grandma Yahoo. So yahoo.com. I remember playing Yahoo Pool when I was a kid. Sneak into the computer lab during recess and play some Yahoo Pool. It is for you, Grandma. You're welcome. And we get a fishing hook. Now you might think this has something to do with the fishing game, but it actually does not. It's not related to that at all. 
So, we've done quite a bit in this episode, but we have this spooky ghost who's following us and getting his ectoplasm all over the place. So we actually need to do something about that. He wants to go home. And we are going to make that happen. So one of the places that this spooky ghost actually wants to go is down here. Not in Animal Village, but in this area. You'll see. He is a lost soul wandering through the endless ether of the living. It's actually really nice that they... <laughs> this is a quality of life thing, in my opinion. One of my... One of my not favorite things is having to deal with games that are incessant about how they handle reminders. And in the DX and regular version, this ghost would make a very annoying like sound and it was just a lot. So he wants to go, excuse you. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm working on it, bro. I'm working on it. We can pop down here real quick. Avoid this Zora. This guy just wants me to take him to his house and I'm over here running errands. Get another secret seashell. Like I said, a lot opens up once you have access to the flippers. Oh, that's not what I meant to do at all. Oh, that wasn't either. Over here. Get another one. And as you can see down there, there's another piece of art. So yeah, there's a ton of collectibles. There's a ton of things that you can... <laughs> I'm sorry. That's that's kind of sad, just because it's like watching Link get electrocuted, but it's also kind of adorable. I'm sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't have the Rock's Feather equipped. That would not go well. I'm taking damage for you, buddy. Let's make it happen. This is where his final resting place is. His former resting place if he liked naps, like I do. Let's take him home. This is actually um, one of my other favorite songs in the game. I think it's called like Oceanside Villa. This is also kind of bittersweet. This is one of those songs that makes your eyes a little sweaty if you played this game as a kid. So he wants to go to his grave in the cemetery. That's something that we're actually going to do next time. We'll help him out and get him to his forward afterlife. Thanks for hanging out with me, everybody. Hopefully you had fun watching. I did. Well, I had fun playing. Anyway, thanks for hanging out, everybody. Hope you enjoyed yourselves. Have a good one. Bye.